You can tell me it's not worth trying for. I can't help it. There's nothing I want more. Yeah, I'd fight for you. I'd lie for you. Walk the wire for you. I'd die for you. <laughs> that boy is whipped! <laughs> Welcome back, True Believers Elite Legend, back at you guys with another G.I. Joe Classified Series video. And the Elite Legend wants to apologize for the lack of content over the course of the last week. Unfortunately, the Elite Legend ended up going to Target. I was in the toy aisle. I saw some G.I. Joe figures from Super 7. Upon expecting the quality of the figures and admiring the paint apps... And then looking at the lack of articulation and the $17.99 price tag, the Elite Legend started laughing hysterically. The Elite Legend was laughing to the point where I could not catch my breath. So then the Elite Legend is eventually like, my chest hurts and I can't breathe. So the Elite Legend ends up going and getting a coup test and apparently... Lack of articulation and a ridiculous price point can do that to a fella. Let them baby. $17.99 for a four inch figure. That's not that chump change. That's the big money. And if the American dream is paying $17.99, you better be able to fully articulate those legs in a wide open molten baby. What? That's right, the Elite Legend saw this Snake Eyes Super 7 figure featuring five points of articulation. I saw Dookie and, of course, Lady J. Now, we all know and love dude who does not look like Lady J. Um, and this also looks like a dude who does not look like Lady J. So apparently the folks at Super 7 are in communication with um, their counterparts over at G.I. Joe Hasbro when it comes to horrendous face sculpts for Lady J. Now, here is the back of one of those Super 7 cards. And on the back of it, you can see some dude named Quinn. Who the fuck is he? Listen, baby. The American dream has learned something new. When it comes to a threatened individual, you do not want to attune the agenda. It's insensitive of you, Elite Legion. To a tomb that Quinn is impact the man. Everybody knows that Quinn is a medicine woman. Dr. Quinn medicine woman? Is that G.I. Joe Cannon? Now, upon further inspection of the back of that package, there is a Baroness figure. And we're going to be talking about the Baroness in just a moment. And if you want your own Baroness, you can find one on eBay. With an unpunched card. The American Dream doesn't believe in violent taught women. So all the hoes remain unpunched in my collecting baby. TMI, Dusty. TMI. You'll never confuse the American Dream with Chris Brown, baby. And you will never confuse the Super 7 G.I. Joes with the classic 3 and 3 quarter inch figures that the selling point was having all that articulation that had not been seen up until that point. But Super 7, they're bringing it back. They're going retro and giving you retro articulation? Yeah. Boo these people. The Elite Legend is feeling a lot better. And let's be honest, there is way too much toxic masculinity coursing through my veins to keep the Elite Legend down for long. Let an Elite Legend. Elie the American dream is glad you're feeling good. But if you would have taken my bite and double-bagged it, you would have never had to deal with the vapors, if you will. Dusty, I don't think you understand how the couve works. <laughs> so I told you guys I was going to be talking about the Baroness and... 
Uh, Baroness was revealed during the very first Fan First Friday from Hasbro, just about a little bit over a week ago. And that was the big event where Hasbro basically shared their new strategy, which is not showing off actual figures. We are now in the age of the digital render. So apparently, um, due to the global pandemic and due to the Pirates of the South Pacific and a a host of other reasons, uh, there was an email that was read by Emily. And uh, apparently, marketing and distribution, they don't talk. They're like a... Bitter couple going through a divorce. They're not in communication. So, again, Hasbro lives up to their reputation of being the kings of the rollout. Yeah, that's right. Let's boo them. So, you know, Hasbro is coming out with that new edition of the blame game. And I wonder who gets to blame this time. Let the elite legend know in the comments below. What excuse are the shills coming up with for this royal screw up by the folks over at Hasbro? And when I refer to the royal screw-up, maybe the Elite Legend is using a little bit of hyperbole. Maybe it's still um, a little bit of the coup still in my brain. But I saw some news yesterday. It was broken. I saw it first from my guy, my guy Chaz the Guru. Apparently, someone in Washington State was able to pick up one of the Walmart-exclusive retro-carded Six inch G.I. Joe classified series figures, and that figure was the Baroness. Check your eBay listings because you are about to see an influx of Baroness figures. Will this Baroness figure reach the $500 asking price of G.I. Joe classified series figures before it? We saw the insane prices with Major Blood. And do you guys remember when Major Blood was one of the most coveted? G.I. Joe classified series figures? The Elite Legend does, and so does Pepperidge Farms. And do you guys remember when the Baroness was actually a Target Manager exclusive? And speaking of the Target Manager exclusive, finally, (laughs) Hasbro was able to kind of create some balance in the world of retail. I I think Walmart was a little pissed off. They're like, hey, look, guys, we're the number one purchaser of action figures. We want an exclusive similar to what Target got. So we want to have our very own employee exclusive, and we want the Baroness. So apparently the Baroness and dude who does not look like Lady J are part of Wave 1. If you look at the back of the package, you can see the only two figures highlighted are the Baroness and dude who still does not look like Lady J. Now, the other two figures that are blurred out, we already saw them revealed during the Fan First Friday. And that was none other than Destro and the non-Chuck Liddell (laughs) gung-ho in classic colors. So here we see that beautiful retro-style packaging. Let me know in the comments what do you think about it. It's very reminiscent of the original G.I. Joe um, figures, the three and three quarter inch ones. There's a whole lot of space in there. I don't know how I feel about it. Now that Baroness figure comes with a variety of weapons. And if you look at this target manager exclusive scalper Island Cobra trooper, you can see that this long rifle, these small (laughs) nerf pistols, and even this little machine gun are included with that Baroness figure. Another one of the cool features is that the sunglasses are actually removable on this Baroness figure. And let's get a close-up of that face. Ah! Not that one! Oh, God! Burn it! Burn it with fire, please! He also comes with a piece of nostalgia. One thing I would have loved to see, and we're not getting in this release, is a backpack. Look at this classic backpack that we do not have for the Baroness in classified form. That's very cool. Now, if you see the Baroness's foot hanging freely right there, that's because the folks at Hasbro at one point only gave us one peg in their stand. So now Hasbro's like, look, fam, we're not going to give you a backpack, but we're going to give you an extra peg. And then I bet it would say, two pegs are better than one, daddy. That's funky. That's the American dream. So here we have a look at the card backs for the new Baroness figure and, of course, the classic on the right. And it would have been nice to see an actual profile. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that. So let me know in the comments, what other characters do you feel will be next in this Walmart retro line? I don't think it's going to be any 
new in the line figures. I think they're going to stick to repaints. And my guess is that the next two will be Duke and perhaps, I'm hoping, Cobra Commander. But more realistically, I'm thinking it's going to be Dukey and Scarlet. And now before the Elite Legend leaves you, I have some exciting news um, from Meyer. If you guys have Meyer stores in your area, check them out because they have put the G.I. Joe Classified Series figures on clearance. So for $16.09, you can bring home the original version of Dude Who Does Not Look Like Lady J. So you can prepare for the Walmart figure that you might never get because it is, in fact, a Walmart employee exclusive. And, of course, those movie figures are still hanging out on those pegs as well. And speaking of hanging out, I'm just here chilling in a bowl of cereal, dog! Yeah, that's right. That's right, folks. Give it up for Dirty Milk Water exclusive Storm Shadow. So here we have the figures from left to right that are going to be featured in the first two waves of the Walmart G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Line. Destro, Baroness, Dude Who Does Not Look Like Lady J, and Iceman Chuck Liddell Gung Ho. So let the Elite Legend know which re-release are you looking forward to the most. Are you getting all four of them? Are you going to be selective? We know the price hike over at Hasbro is about to drop these figures are going to be $24.99 moving forward. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legends' next videos. Check out my G.I. Joe Classified Series playlist. Marvel Legends playlist. Follow the Elite Legend at Instagram at Elite Legend 224 And until next time, make mine.